Hey everyone, this PC Noob Guide will show you a few simple steps on how to get your music on your Android phone or tablet. Using iTunes has made transferring music to an iPhone simple. Using an Android can also be. The two methods I'll show you are the simple drag and drop method and using Google Play. First, the most basic way to get your music to your Android from a PC is the drag and drop. When you plug your Android device into the computer, it should automatically ask if you want to open it like this. Then click open device to view files and you'll have the two storage systems, your SD card or your phone. If this doesn't pop up you can do it manually by opening up computer or my computer from the start menu and your phone should be down here in portable devices. Same thing. Now I'd recommend storing music on the card and if you don't have a music file already you can make one. Just right click and say new folder and then name it music. Next you'll open up a new Windows Explorer window which you could do from the start menu or you could just right click on the one that's already opened and open up another one. And now find where your music is stored. Usually you'll find it in the music section under libraries. Now you'll have the music that's on your PC over here in this folder. I only have one in here right now and you just Click on it and drag it over to this music folder on the SD card in your phone. Or any Android device. And now it'll be in here and it should be in your music menu on your phone's music app. Now you can do this with almost anything you want like movies or pictures. Just remember some music and video formats won't play on an Android. There are plenty of video guides out there that show how to convert formats into something Android supports in case you need help there. And next I'll show you Google Play. And if you have an Android, chances are you already have a Google Play account. But anyways, just go to Google Play or, or search for it in Google and just open it up. Now, I'm automatically signed in already, but you'll have to sign in or create a Google Play account, which is quick and simple. Anyways, click on music here, and this is the shop, but if you click on my music, it'll show your library, which yours will show up empty if you haven't added anything yet. Now, the way Google Play works is you upload your music from your PC to your Play account. It shouldn't take too long since Google matches all the music on your own computer with what they have on their servers already. It will upload anything they don't have on their servers yet, which could take a little while if they have to upload it from your computer. Now this way, you can use your Google Play account to stream your music on your Android phone wherever you go without piling it all up in your storage or SD card storage space. From here, to get music from Google Play to your Android so you won't have to use up data whenever you're not near Wi-Fi, you can press and hold an album or a song and choose to pin it and download it so it's on your phone. But anyways, from here you'll upload the music by clicking upload and you'll download the music manager. Then when it's done install or downloading, click run to install it. Now just click next and sign in and from here you can choose to upload all your computer songs to Google Play or download the songs from the Google Play. But your goal is to upload. You can have the music manager scan the locations like from your iTunes library, Windows Media Player or your music folder and then you just click next. Oh you can choose which songs you want to upload, and playlists too. Oh, and podcasts. Cool. Alright, next. And you can set it to automatically update songs that you add to your computer or iTunes in the future. Sure. And then like here you'll find the little headphone symbol down in the taskbar whenever it's open or running. Next, preparing the music. And mine failed to upload. Of course all my music is already on Google Play. I don't have any stored on my computer, right now anyways. Next. Anyways, it'll sync the music on your computer with what they have on their server and put it in your library. And with your Google Play app on your Android, you can just stream all the music you want. Or pin it and download it so it's on your phone permanently. And you can choose to 
download it back all onto your computer right in here download download my library that'd probably take a little while but there are different options to play with but google play is really cool for letting you have a huge library of music without it taking up all the space on your phone or tablet or your computer but if you're at places that don't have wi-fi a lot you may want to keep your favorite albums on the phone or tablet. Alright, before the video is over, I just want to make sure you guys know about Amazon Prime. If you don't know about it already, it's an awesome membership that gets you free two-day shipping at Amazon.com, unlimited instant streaming for those of you that like watching movies off the internet, and the Kindle library so you can borrow books on your Kindle or your Kindle app on your Android. Anyways, you can try it for a whole month for free, for more details about that, check below the video. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please rate the video and leave a nice comment if you're feeling friendly. Also, subscribe to our channel for future PC noob guides, as well as info about the latest Ultrabook laptops. Thanks, everyone, and I'll talk to you all again soon.